Hi all, uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to update to Lollipop version, the official one, okay? Uh, first you need to download the ROM, the official ROM, okay, it's here. You extract, gonna have this, okay? And you run this, okay? You run this, you're gonna have this window. Uh, just disconnect the phone and uh, connect again with this window open okay uh, click on this button and wait to download the software okay if this application doesn't recognize your phone you download these two files it's this one okay this this driver and this driver you extract you're gonna have this run this app first then run this okay go here go new installation install this or this if it's 32 okay when it's connected and the download starts it's fine ready to go disconnect the cable now my is turned to a hundred percent disconnect the cable and now i'm running lollipop android 5 official for rainbow okay the test on this room in a second if you have the clone for Rico Rainbow as XPlay Fresh, Keymobile i9, Micromax A120, Colors to Canvas. Just go on this folder, okay, and run SP Flash Tools, okay. The drivers, it's the same, and you follow my tutorial for KitKat. Do the firmware upgrade and you have the Lollipop version. Okay? It's super easy also. In the last part, I'm gonna show you how Lollipop runs on Wiko Rainbow and its clones. It's booting already. Let's see. Hi all. This is the tutorial for installation of Wiko Rainbow Lollipop version, the official one. If you have a clone, you just have to open the SP Flash Tools, as you see here. If you have Xplay Fresh or other, just go to your Rainbow Lollipop folder, it's here. Go to ROM and select your scatter okay open it you have all here just put the firmware upgrade and connect your phone to the computer okay uh, that easy after it booted uh, if you have Lollipop working as it's here. First of all, go to security. And put unknown sources and disable the verify apps. Go back, go to about device, build number and tap seven times. I'm already a developer, so go to developer options on USB debugging. Okay, okay. Then I download these two files and go to file manager and put in your SD card. Let this focus. and install this 
this version of King Root install this is only uh, temporary root okay so don't worry it doesn't do nothing bad for your phone just click done go back install it as you see and we're gonna try again don't worry about that that bug just click like I did okay and it's going to root so let's wait a minute I download also the recovery it's CTR recovery but it works fine and put in your SD card I'm gonna leave the link in description okay so let's see if it roots fine yeah don't forget to put the display in 30 minutes to close I forgot but let's see this is the second time I do this because I'm working on the internal storage so I have to test it a bit okay just wait and be patient so after a few minutes it appears root successfully you don't need the purify okay if you want to disinstall it you can as you see I'm gonna disinstall it okay just click on purify and put an install okay no problem you have root anyway okay it's done now go to play store and you can use rush to flash your recovery okay use rush or flashify it's the same you can do it if you have if you are a more advanced user you can do it with sp flash tools it's super easy okay so after you install rush just give the root permission put recover to storage okay and flash the recovery image for lollipop put yes after you flashed reboot in recovery okay and you can flash all the add-ons you want exposed and all okay if you do this reboot the phone okay just click on free fix root no problem you can flash exposed and super sue okay so thanks for watching, I am Smokerman, subscribe my YouTube, just press like on the video, see you soon.